Are you flexing? Did you literally just do that? No, I can't even see. Good morning, guys. We're heading to Nicaragua right now. It's um, a little after 4 a.m. Really need to fire my travel agent. Really need to fire my travel agent. We just need a night like this. We just need a night like this. Yeah. Take me back to ninth grade. Take me back to ninth grade. There are 10 of us going on this trip. Look at all of the luggage. I think we might have packed a little too much. How's it going? Uh, this went on. Hello. It's Rachel's first time flying. <laughs> I'm really nervous. On a scale of 1 to 10, how nervous are you, Rachel? Probably a 20. No, I got that window seat. By far the most stressful part of airport traveling is when it's your turn to get your bag out of the overhead bin when you're leaving. Everyone's just looking at you like, why are you taking so long, bro? Like, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know? Second most stressful part, when you get off the airplane for three hours where you've been holding your pee. This is Oscar. He's the leader of our trip and the people in Nicaragua that we help, but more on him later. She said, how does it feel to be you? I said, it's all right. I really think I peaked in high school. She said, that is impossible. You are out of your mind. Cause we never hooked up in high school. Stopping for lunch at a place called Tip Top Chicken. It's supposed to be the Chick fil A of Nicaragua. Pretty stoked. Te gusta pollo? ¿Cómo te llamas? This place is eerily similar to the chicken place in Breaking Bad. Look at it. First uh, Nicaraguan Chick fil A bite. Oh, wow. Oscar is still hungry, so he's buying us an iguana. Get the fat. They catch him with slingshot. We've got some price negotiating going on. Oh, you touched it first. He said killed it last time. Getting out of the car real quick on the way to where we're staying. What's the lake called, Cars? Mumbo Tumbo. I thought it was called. Managua. Volcanoes Mombo Tumbo. Oh. We're in Managua. We're on Lake Managua. We just need a night light. There, there's some little boats. Try to take some pictures of the boats and I got ran off by like six dogs that look like really big rats. <laughs> They're so skinny. From when I, I was an honor star actually. We just got to and head all the, the Dream Center, which is where we're staying. Um, super cool. There's literally like hundreds of kids here just like running around. <laughs> Today was a crazy long day. We woke up at 3, before 3.30 3 a.m. this morning, got on a plane from Atlanta to Miami and then from Miami to Nicaragua. When we landed in Miami, I realized that I didn't have a camera charger on me. We landed in Miami late and we only had about 10 minutes before our next flight. And so I booked it all around the Miami airport trying to find a camera charger, could not find it. So this could be the only vlog that we get here unless I can find a camera charger tomorrow. Hopefully that will we'll be able to find one. Anyways, first impressions of Nicaragua. Wow, uh, Oscar and Lacero and Lester and Christian and all those guys that I've met so far, crazy awesome. Um, I can't wait to get to know them better. We still have quite a bit to do tonight. We're going to uh, unpack all the luggage. I didn't tell you guys this, but each one of us took two suitcases and they were just filled with supplies for them to have here. 
uh, everything from food to toiletries to towels and just anything that they really that they asked for. One thing that I severely underestimated was how hot it is here. Holy, amazingly hot here. It's not amazing. Uh, before I came on this trip, my dad said to bring two shirts every day because you sweat through them both, and I thought he was exaggerating, but. I didn't even do any work today. I just rode on the bus and I sweat. Sweated? Is that a word? I sweated through this entire t-shirt. So I think I'm going to call it a day. Until tomorrow, remember to always bring two shirts for every day in Nicaragua. Remember to never wear Crocs and socks. And never ask a girl with a Pittsburgh Steelers jersey to move over on an airplane. I'll see you tomorrow. We just need a night like this. We just need a night like this. Yeah. I was just walking around the Dream Center here. And uh, I found a little friend. By little, I mean huge.